But anyway, you could like make it a little more straight. Okay, thank you. Uh. Okay. Uh, when we take this popper and we pop it, it flows up 1.25 meters. Yes. We feel that out. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now, what? Uh, so can you tell me if this works like a regular projectile or not? Do you think this works like a regular projectile? Okay, yes, in, indeed it does. Let me, this does indeed work like a regular projectile. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me better now. These headphones are really uncomfortable, but whatever. Okay, so, for normal projectiles, what happens at the top of their trajectory? No? Vertical. Good, good. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. So, Vy is equal to zero. And since the thing basically shot straight upwards, we don't even care about Vx. Vx practically doesn't even exist. So, we know over here, velocity is essentially zero. Yes, I know I drew it like this, but it's to make sure we can illustrate all the points on the curve better. Alright. So, now, first of all, if it flies this high, 1.25 meters, can we calculate its initial velocity? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to give you the equation, and you better solve it for me, okay? Because I'm too lazy to solve it myself. Vx squared equals Vi squared plus 2ad. With this one kinematics equation, can you solve for the initial velocity? Okay. Okay. Uh, if you guys really want to solve for it, you gotta come up here and do it for yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna give you non-existent extra credit points okay. for being this brave. So okay, the v final is zero, so we can write zero here, and uh, acceleration is negative here. I'll be g down. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mention. Uh. uh Hopefully you guys can all see that. Thank you. Okay. So then, I just write vi square here, and I can write minus 2g, and this will be the height. So the height is 1.25 meters. Yes. So I can write 2 into g into 1.25 meters. You don't forget the square that you have yeah. over here. We don't yes. want you forgetting that. <laughs> so then the vi uh, will be equal to square root of 2 into g into 1.25. That is correct. You did it. Okay. Let's get it. Okay, so we have 2 times 9.8, and that gives us 4.95 meters per second. You can sit back there.